today headlines watch global carbon pollution fall 17 percentage tamil nadu signs 17 agreement for investments of over 15100 crores IAF operationalized two LCA squadron inducts first LCA Tejas in Fox Standard. India vs China, Chinese muscle flexing in Ladakh and indirect challenge for USA. India prepare to teach China a lesson, all three armies hand over blueprint to PM Modi. Today News the daily levels of carbon dioxide emissions in the world have reduced by 17% during the COVID-19 pandemic. A study based on this was carried out by the Global Carbon Project. An international team of scientists said the annual estimate of carbon dioxide emissions is estimated to end up between 4% and 7% lower than 2019 levels. This is the biggest annual drop in such emissions since World War II. It is expected to be at 7% if strict lockdown measures continue. Whereas, it will be 4% if the lockdown is lifted. In April, the US cut its carbon dioxide levels by about one third. China, the world's biggest emitter of heat trapping gases, sliced its pollution by nearly a quarter. In the midst of the global COVID 19 pandemic, the Tamil Nadu government on Wednesday inked 17 memorandums of understanding, MAO, with companies from various countries, for investments to the tune of about 15,128 crore, which are expected to provide jobs for over 47,100 people. Representatives from these companies from Germany, Finland, Taiwan, France, South Korea, Japan, China, United States, Australia. England and the Netherlands exchanged signed agreements with Tamil Nadu officials, in the presence of Tamil Nadu Chief Minister Ida K. Palaniswami at the Secretariat here. The Indian Air Force, IAF, formally inducted into service the first light combat aircraft, LCA, Tejas MK-1 in final operational clearance, FOC, standard on Wednesday and operationalized its second Laka Squadron No. 18 Flying Bullets Chief of the Air Staff, Air Chief Marshal, ACM, RKS Bhadoria, received the first Fox Standard Laka from Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, ATL, in a function held at Air Force Station, Sulu near Coimbatore, in Tamil Nadu the handover and induction of the Laka Fox aircraft got delayed due to COVID-19 and the lockdown restrictions. Four more Fokker aircraft in advanced stages of production and testing and are expected to join the squadron soon, Hull said. Since the outbreak of the Wuhan-originated coronavirus pandemic, the Xi Jinping regime has been provocatively launching one offensive after another on multiple fronts. Beijing, the prolonged eyeball-to-eyeball -eyeball standoff in eastern Ladakh has now become the biggest military confrontation between Indian and China on the line of actual control, LAC, since the 2017 incident in Doklam. As the two biggest military powers in Asia engage in aggressive posturing on the roof of the world, the possibility of an armed conflict, however remote, cannot be ruled out entirely. Amid tense situation with China PM Narendra Modi took detailed information on the situation in Ladakh in the Prime Minister's office, PMO, on Tuesday evening. According to sources, PM Modi has asked the three armies to suggest alternatives on the current situation. A detailed report was presented to PM Narendra Modi on the situation made with China in Ladakh on behalf of the three forces. National Security Advisor, NSA, Ajit Doval was also present in this meeting. In view of the current circumstances, the three forces gave suggestions regarding strategic and tactical options in the event of increasing defense assets and tension. Thanks for watching. Like, share, comment. Subscribe to Inverse Dark and activate bell icon.